Today, we're gonna to be shining a light on the dynamic duo, the marketing strategist and the data analyst. If these two people do not exist within the same person, then they should definitely be besties inside of your organization. We're gonna talk about how these two roles might seem like they're distinct, but when they work together, they make magic happen. That's right, Fran. Today, we're diving into the symbiotic relationship between these two roles and sharing some game-changing strategies for our small business buddies out there, as well as um, those who might not have a dedicated data analyst on their team. So Fran, as a marketing strategist, you're all about creating compelling campaigns and driving results. So what's your take on this dynamic duo? Oh, absolutely. But to truly understand what's going on, I need to understand the data. And in order to understand the data, I go speak to my bestie. I ring her up like, hey, what's going on on the back end of our website? And the data analyst in me is like, hey, this is what's going on. You need to turn this into something. So what I do, I take that data and I turn it into actionable insights. So the marketing strategists are the ones who take those insights and turn them into action. And the data analyst is the person who analyzes that data and lets me know what's happening behind the scenes. And as a unicorn in the marketing industry, Fran is also a data analyst. Um, so it means she's a numbers cruncher. So can you give us a little, give our audience a little insight into your process as a data analyst? For sure, I start by comparing previous month's data with the current month's data. I look for trends and page views, trends in new content that was created, maybe keywords. It all depends on the channel you are looking at and the KPIs that have been established for that channel. For instance, if you're looking at social media, then you may be looking at engagement such as likes, shares, um, comments, or clicks to your website. If you're looking at your website data, then you may be looking for engagement on specific content, um, clicks to call, and even form submissions. But it's not just about the wins. It's also about finding areas of improvement and learning how to pivot. Exactly. Whether it's adjusting your targeted parameters or refining your key messages, both require a data analyst and your marketing strategist to make data informed and smart decisions. So whether you're a startup or a global enterprise, remember the synergy between data and strategy is key to a success in today's digital landscape. You got that right, Vanessa. From investing in user-friendly analytics tools to tapping into third-party vendor data. There's so many tools and resources out there for you to access your information and start making data-driven tools. There's absolutely no excuse for your small business to be making decisions in the dark. If you haven't already gotten a list of freebies from our other videos, here is a list of free analytics tools that you can use. Next, I provide actionable insight to the marketing strategist side of me. Hey y'all, that's me. I let the marketing strategist know what needs to happen next, such as maybe I tell her we need to e segment our email list to a specific audience based on the traffic that's received to the website based on what's in our newsletter. My data analyst has provided some amazing insights to me and has made recommendations to me such as segmenting our email list so that certain subscribers who are engaged with certain products or certain services, they receive those emails only. It keeps our unsubscribe rates low and it keeps our click rates high. Our, another recommendation that has been made has been to create landing pages to direct ads to based on the engagement on certain content. Instead of just posting that content on social media with the link back to your website, let's get more specific. Based on what that data said, the analyst has recommended leading those ads to a, a landing page that is specific to that product or service. It keeps our bounce rates low and it keeps our click to call and our form submissions high. So having this, this insight allows me to turn it into actionable data. Hence, this is what's happening in the data and this is what needs to happen on our channels and our platforms.
that's all that we have for today. So if you know, you know. Until next time, stay curious, stay innovative, and stay ahead of the curve. Bye. Bye.